that time of the week again, my friends. It's time for a fresh episode of our City Zoo Build, Tropical Wings Zoo. So we begin today's episode where we left off at the brand new Warthog Wallow, as for some reason they're leaping around like lions, but whatever, it's Planet Zoo, that's just how it goes. Um, today, my friends, I'm going to be showing you the work I've been do doing between uh, the last episode, which you can find above. Feel free to go and check that link out so you can take a good look at the entire episode. Um, but yeah, it's a work in progress, unfortunately. There's lots going on, as you all know, at the moment. I'm having a brand new office built and there's been work going on in the house so I've had some very very limited time this week but with the time I've been afforded I feel like I've got plenty done so let's take a look at what has been going on so the big thing I've been working on gang is meerkat manor um, I kind of said at the end of last episode that that is kind of the direction I was going to be pushing on um, like I've already said this is very very much a work in progress I kind of I've literally had like a day really a day's worth of time um i've been kind of a couple of hours here a couple of hours there um, i really haven't had a lot of time at all um a lot of it i've been able to pinch from the um the warthog wallow um like the walls and stuff like that we're still messing around with this um uh, stalacite rock um which i've really really uh, I, I, i'm absolutely loving working with I want to thank Caesar as well because he left a comment on last video letting me know about the the uh, Stalacite Rock. He even sent me a little um, you know video clip of ways I could potentially make it better. And I really really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for reaching out, um, and I really appreciate um, your help where this was kind of concerned. But um, yeah, um, as you can see, this is kind of the work we've been doing. We would we'd done all of the Warthog Wallow last time. I think there was a few things that people um, had mentioned, like little details that need doing that I am going to put into action one was railings they said that that would probably be really important where there was stairs which i totally agreed with so we have thrown some railings in another thing that has been highlighted is that we should maybe either change the texture of the stairs up or maybe change the color somehow to kind of highlight that there are stairs there because um it really isn't actually that obvious because the color really blends and when i was taking a look at stuff online usually the stairs are a slightly different color and if not slightly a different color even a different material is used so I think that's definitely something that we need to kind of take a look at in the future. Someone did mention that in the comments and, um, you know, I do always appreciate when you guys maybe highlight stuff that I might have forgotten, basically. Um, so the first thing that kind of I've been working on where Meerkat Manor was concerned was the kind of smaller area, getting these glass windows in, getting new planters, getting it all kind of, you know, where the plants were going to go and just kind of getting it um outlined basically this little section isn't finished the same as the big bit isn't finished as well which we will take a look at i still think that need they need some really you know minute details i think some more rocks maybe some fallen twigs a bit more like you know grasses and things like that um when you look at a lot of meerkat habitats online in zoos there is very very little foliage in the habs um and it's obviously like that for a reason meerkats do dig and whatnot but I have felt like if I wanted to go really, really, really a stick, that was kind of the direction I should have gone down. But I've added some plants because I just think they bring habs to life. And um, I haven't gone overboard, but I do still think there needs to be a little bit more. Um, first and foremost, though, I have done this now. Um, we ripped out all of those fences and I've basically carried this line on. I've been able to carry this um, entire line on and then got this beautiful small curve by using the smaller um, uh, trimmed pieces, the square trim pieces, and just kind of uh, made this, uh, lined it all up nice, the seats all went in as well. And then I've just thrown a, like a rather large cork tree in here, and then some bushes and grasses, and I really feel like it finished it off. And then something else that I started doing was I've started putting a nice kind of trim on the top, and I really, really feel like it finishes the wall off. And I'm even thinking about adding a bit of trim at the bottom because I think that that might look, make it look quite nice as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm considering doing that, just not 100% sure. Got to mess around with a few more ideas again. Um, going in here with the railings, um, one either side, um, but yeah, the trims obviously it's, it's only the beginning, it was something I was just kind of messing around with. With, um, and I kind of came up with this design and I really really like it I think it looks really really good um, so we're going to continue that trim all the way around on all of these walls 
but it's probably going to be something I'll come back to once the Meerkat Manor is uh, is finished off, basically. So as far as the small side is concerned, gang, um, as you can see, we've really, really tidied it all up where the pathways and things are concerned. And then as you can see, I've really started going to town, um, you know, putting these planters in, you know, throwing in some plants. Um, there are going to be some plants in this area that you won't see in other parts of the zoo. That's all part of my... Um, uh, I was talking about this last time, wasn't I? My kind of, um, um, my plant palette, if you want to call it that. And in Africa, we're going to be using, you know, very particular plants that you're only going to find in this bit of the zoo that would obviously still be able to grow in the UK. So we are using these bushes just to kind of bring a bit of color and whatnot in here. Um, I've really kind of started to get the final details of how this is going to work. This has actually come out a lot better than I thought. Uh, you know thought it would um, but like I was saying we probably do need a few more details in here maybe a few more smaller twigs and some smaller rocks and what and whatnot scattered uh, scattered about uh, and then I think it will look pretty good I've, I've kept this side pretty flat just because we've got the water here and we do have the tunnel coming up and then over the other side you're going to see there's there's some terrain differences over there now i have got rid of that um that rock uh, face that i made before and i've literally just um really been messing around a bit more with the terrain tool and i actually think the more natural slope with the stalactite rock looks really nice and you're gonna see exactly uh, what i'm talking about but yeah just a few more details in here and i think this side will be done to be honest with you but it is getting there really Really loving the way that this uh, this rock face at the back looks because I have gone a lot higher because we are going to be disguising what is a kind of small um, back lot area over here. I am probably going to change this fence out. I was going to go with this fence, um, but I think that because of the nature of the area, um, I don't think it's going to work. So I actually think I'm going to change that fence out for something that uh, you know you can't see so much going on back there. Um, and then we're going to actually plant in here eventually um, so yeah that's kind of that part and then if we were to look at this main pathway this has been reworked a hell of a lot um, we've thrown in um, this planter here with uh, with one of these beautiful trees um, just so that we can have a bit of natural shade over here because I've actually decided to throw in some picnic tables over here next to this restaurant now. Um, the more I look at zoos, the more I look at reference material, the more you see a lot more stuff like this, a lot more picnic tables, a lot more like pit stop areas, little seated places, and I don't really have a lot of it in the zoo, so I decided to just throw them in uh, next to the meerkats, and uh, you know it just would be a really cool place to sit and have lunch, in my opinion, uh, if you were to come over here and. Come Kind of sit it's just a fantastic view of uh everything that's going on in the zoo really um you kind of get a little view over over there you get a good view of the meerkat manor you even get a little view of the restaurant off in the distance as well and it's all about creating sight lines as well as it is creating these beautiful habitats when you're trying to build an entire zoo it's about creating sight lines and things like that as well and you're going to see we've added these buildings and yeah it's it's a work in progress so you do have to use your imagination gang again gone with these planters in the middle so the way i've achieved this by the way is i've used a very wide piece of path and then i've put these planters in and so that we don't get clipping through the planters i've just put underneath i've put the barriers basically all around them so that our guests actually walk down the sides and but they can pass through the middle as well i just wanted to I just don't want this zoo to just be a concrete jungle, basically. And so, you know, not only do we need to create like planters like this and have bigger trees and whatnot, but we do need some lower li lower lying grasses and bushes as well. It's another thing that I've really noticed the more I start looking at zoos. And uh, you know, this project I am rebuilding a lot, and I think if I'm going to rebuild it, we might as well rebuild it the right way, um, rather than having to come back to it and doing it all over again. So. The main part of uh, Meerkat Manor it is looking a little something like this now, gang. Um, you're actually going to notice that the blue print area is exactly the same, but their actual hab area is smaller. The reason for this is because I've added an indoor area for our meerkats, and I've added a, quite a large indoor area for our aardvarks. Now, these two parts here are very much a work in progress. I will show you what I've done so far, but they, they're basically they're the bits that need finishing. Other than a few more details in here, once this and this is done, meerkat manor's pretty much done, to be fair. I just didn't have enough time. I really, really just didn't. 
didn't have enough time to get it finished and my whole deal at the minute is that I want to be putting out at least an episode of this series a week um, for you know uh, the remainder of this year at least one episode because I want this uh, project to be finished before the year's out so I really want to keep you up to date and you know even if I don't get everything 100% finished if I'm pretty much there I'm going to be definitely putting the episodes out unless it's a brand new animal then I won't but this because this is a rebuild I felt comfortable doing this um, so yeah we've added these two sections I've reworked the building this building does actually come out a bit deeper uh, over this side now we've moved the um, um, keeper's door from over here to over here and that was just so that we could accommodate this building and that we could actually make this a bit uh, slightly smaller um, but the thing that's really interesting about this now is that it actually works in a beautiful way. Not only is it a kind of an outdoor area, but there is a pathway into this little bit. There's doorways in here. We've got doorways going into here. The stalactite rock really kind of uh, almost disguises that there's a building there to, to some degree, uh, especially here and here. Um, I am considering... Um, even getting rid of this little bit of pathway that comes down here and actually just taking uh, doing another planter there and adding more plants here so that we really kind of disguise that building and that was my big thing is that I, I really wanted to try and disguise that there was a building there which is one of the reasons why I've used really natural materials in the woods and stuff um, to kind of uh, really make it make it disappear essentially and kind of blend into what was achieving as you can see we've gone very different with our decorations it's a lot of fallen logs it's a lot of stalactite rock you know we've got these uh, bushes and grasses um, sprouting in certain places uh, like I say I still do want to add some more I want to add some like much smaller rocks with some plants um, in and around them but other than that we're pretty much getting there you can kind of see the direction that I'm going and um, my whole thing with a lot of the logs is that I wanted to work them in with these ones that the animals go through the only thing that does wind me up a little bit and it shouldn't because it's actually a really cool animation but it's just these holes there end up being so many of them and they kind of ruin ruin the way that the um the habitat looks in a way but it's just one of those things isn't it um as you can see, uh, this side as well really started to get to work on the way this looks. Again, it's coming out really, really nice. The ground, unfortunately, when I reworked all the ground, I just didn't work it this way enough, and I really don't want to have to delete that path out again, so I'm just going to have to probably use decals uh, down here to kind of disguise the... Uh, the hot mess that is the plaster, which is what they use to walk through, basically. And I've, I've got to finish off all this in here to actually make it look more like a tunnel. Uh, what I was actually thinking of doing was putting like a door type deal like that you could walk over it wouldn't be a problem almost like a manhole cover here so that the keepers could actually get down and in there in case an animal ever got stuck or was injured or whatnot um, I do think that might be a smart thing to kind of put on the pathway just for the kind of tunnel but yeah I do think that the habit is looking very pretty um, it is you know it's kind of understated there's plants going on but there's not too much because obviously that kind of goes against the grain of the majority of aardvark and um, meerkat habs you would see uh, kind of in zoos. I, you know, I was looking at London Zoo's one. There's no plants at all um, in in either. And um, it's just one of those things. It's weird because in a real zoo, it looks beautiful. But in this game, it just looks a bit bland. So, yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. As you can see, continuing all the stalactite rock um, stuff, really working in the natural woods and even using some faux rocks as well, kind of in and around it, and even some uh, normal uh, temperate rocks as well, just to kind of build up the illusion um, a bit more. Over here, I've used the temperate rocks to disguise a pathway, uh, basically it's like a little runway that goes into their building um i need to kind of engineer a, a way a door is going to go on that obviously to keep that shut off but uh i really really love that that's a brand new feature because obviously this building is very new as well um so yeah that's uh that's really cool they can use it um perfectly as well and uh you know it does look really good when they disappear down there and end up in their room and i'll show you those two things last just because they're not quite finished basically gang um over here uh, it is a big, big rework over here as well as you can see i've got all of the um all the railings in now because i was really starting to get an idea of how this was going to go um I've put these planters in over here because I want to just put some plants just to kind of disguise this fence. I pr much prefer this fence at the perimeter um, where it is. I've changed up the emergency exit one as well. 
Uh, and then as you can see, this is uh, one of our indoor area buildings. Uh, so basically our guests are gonna be able to come up and uh, see the animals uh, inside basically. And if you were to go around here, you'll see that I've changed up all the back lot as well. Still got this gentle slope that comes up because it does change uh, you know the level uh the terrain level does change slightly but i've just put these planters in now we're going to uh, probably put a couple of trees back here um and then fill in with grasses and stuff the same way we've done there just to kind of create a nice green backdrop to it and to just bring a bit more life to the area as well i think it'll be very very nice to kind of do that plus i think the building will be will pop a lot more as well uh if we uh if we do that so yeah that's kind of looking pretty good um i'm really really loving it um the terrain change here as well like i talked about this is different this there used to be a big kind of rock face i have actually still got it it's over here gang look because i didn't know what i was going to do with it um but i'm probably going to delete it because oh what a hot mess that is when i when i look at that and i look at what i'm creating now it just shows you uh, how you improve at things doesn't it um but yeah we kind of just got this raised area now which is great because you do need that you do need these um elevations uh and then you've got kind of got the rocks uh over here i've put in a little water uh thing over here i've really struggled to kind of get this to like level and line up but we needed something for for them to have a drink from but didn't want to put a big pool in here so I just went with that instead but yeah as you can see all the planting looks really great doesn't it and then it carries on around here i just changed it up ever so slightly because this is an area back here that you can't really see this planter here has kind of been put in to disguise our keeper um, door over here, basically. So that's the big reason why I've done that. This is our Aardvark building, and as we all know, this is the Meerkat building. It's strange, right? I'm using the Planet Zoo Plus mod, and this um, is the smallest I could make the doorway which was a real surprise to me it really needs to be quite long you can make it low but it really needs to be quite long but to be honest with you it don't matter too much because from most areas it's pretty much disguised you can't really see it you know um but my big thing is that um over here i might change this up because this is this has worked so nice where this really blends in lovely here into that area that we could if we wanted put another planter in over here um, because we wouldn't be losing too much um, land area, but we would gain a bit more colour and be able to make that building disappear a bit more, basically. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And like I say, up on this hill, we probably, again, just need a few more fallen twigs and some rocks and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, it'd look really, really cool. But, yeah, um, slope down that way, and then there's a slope down that way. And, uh, yeah, then you end up going into the buildings and whatnot, gang. So yeah that's that's kind of the outdoors it's getting there it is getting there i think it looks really pretty um it just needs the the, the final touches a few a few rocks a few more little grasses and some uh, some twigs and branches uh, on both sides and that will be finished um and uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with the way that's turned out. Let me take you to the back lot, back lot area now because this has really changed. This has changed a hell of a lot. It's very much along the same designs uh, and the meerkats. The aardvarks is completely brand new. Uh, I bought one of those sheds over here because I just thought it was perfect way to make some of this pavement disappear because there's a lot of pavement over here. There probably needs to be some work done over here. We need to put some drainage and things like that, but... Um, that's, that's all stuff we will get to. So we've got this door that takes you into the meerkats and we've got this door that takes you into the aardvarks and then there is a room in between that uh, takes you out onto the hab. So if we go in here, this is the meerkats and somehow an aardvark is in here. He might be stuck actually because he might have got in here before I did anything so just bear with I'm actually going to put him out onto the hab because he might actually be <laughs> stuck in there I know he's asleep so I feel actually I feel quite mean um, throwing him out but we are going to do that because um, yeah the last thing I need is for animals to be getting stuck uh, in certain parts of the hab that poor guy has just been woken up or poor is it a guy or a girl yeah that poor guy I feel for him. I feel for him. Nobody likes being woken up, do they? Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let's try again, gang. So uh, this is the indoor area for our meerkats, and as you can see, this has uh, really gone through a major overhaul. Anyone that watched that um, episode 
you know, go and watch it back and just skip to the bit where the indoors is and you'll see what an overhaul this has gone through. Our door out onto the hab used to be here, in this gap here, believe it or not, gang. Um, and now, obviously, it's, uh, it's completely changed and uh, I think its location makes a lot more sense. I'm absolutely loving the indoor meerkat area. Now, um, my when I initially made these um, indoor areas before, it was based on a zoo. I cannot remember the zoo for the life of me. I found the image on Zulex and I loved it at the time. And uh, I wanted to keep it because I wanted to keep that elevation outside. And so I thought we're definitely going to have to kind of have raised areas. I've done that, but not only do we have these raised areas, but now we've got drawers, we've got storage, we've got all sorts of stuff going on in here. And because the aardvark area was so small, we needed a, a bit more space kind of in here to kind of store things and also to have a little area where we could, you know, clean things up, you know, gather water and things like that. And that's exactly what we've got kind of over here as well. As you can see, little food dish in there is being kind of washed out as we speak. So yeah, we kind of got that nice little wash area. Loads and loads of storage in here, and I just think it looks great. We've got the uh, doorways as well. Um, I have done this design. I'm not 100% on it, just because you can slightly see this little metal bit on the other side, but um, I just couldn't find a, p any, a piece any smaller that would actually work, so it's just one of those things. But um, still come along quite well. These uh, lights, I'm trying to do some different light designs rather than keep using these. Um, I'm trying to do some different light designs as well. So I kind of come up with this little idea, which looks quite nice, doesn't it? And then we've got our heat lamps. And I think it looks great. We've even got our little gates that slide across. Um, that's the one thing I do need to put in here is like little, um, you know, handles and stuff like that to, uh, you know, do the shutters and things. But uh, I, that's all stuff I can, I can, uh, I can get really, really quickly. As you can see, we've got a couple of our meerkats. Oh, a few of our meerkats in here, all having a, all having a snooze basically. Um, and then that is their doorway that takes them to their indoor area. So basically, the idea would be that during the colder months they would have that area plus their kind of beds in here, and then during the warmer months they can go outside. And the same kind of applies for our aardvarks which we will go and take a look at now so this is the room that kind of joins the two and this is the uh, doorway that goes out onto the habitat what i decided to do in here was just kind of you know supply all of those little storagey bits all the bits they would need for you know tidying up the the hab um i've put a couple of shelves up here as well that you know they would probably keep some items and stuff on it's all little things i need to kind of um i need to go and find and uh, and put on there you know there's a lot of stuff i make i, I probably make 99.9% .9 of the stuff in my zoos but um the smaller items you know the really intricate stuff you know maybe like gift shop items and things like that um i always just get them off the workshop because people do them probably better than I could and plus it saves a bit of time so yeah I, d I probably need to get some items to kind of put up here I was watching one of Goran's streams recently and he, had, he was doing a backlot penguin area and he had these scales and stuff on the side and I was like god I need those I really really need stuff like that and uh, yeah then we come over here gang and this is our aardvarks uh, backstage area now um we've kind of got this notice board up on the side something i am going to do in here is i want to put a table on the wall that's on a hinge so that it can be unfolded um and stood up and i was thinking about doing one in the meerkat area as well because there's not actually anywhere to prep anything uh, in here and i think that we would need something like that but it would need to be a space saving idea because as you can see it's quite tight it's a small it's quite a small space you know um but as you can see we've got some storage back here um, you know, we've got all of our buckets, another kind of broom and things like that. The usual stuff that I like to kind of include, another shelf and uh, more kind of, um, uh, you know, hoses and taps and cleaning uh, apparatus and whatnot and uh, all the grates. And then this is their kind of indoor kind of sleeping uh, area um, and again there is a doorway that goes into their kind of winter holding so that would be their colder months uh, for them to go in uh, and then in the warmer months like at the moment um, it's all open basically um, but this goes out onto the hab um, as you can see we've got a couple of cheeky meerkats in here using the bedding but that's that would be the nature of the beast wouldn't it when animals are sharing but yeah again it kind of follows a very similar trend to the meerkats. Um, I've actually gone with very, you know, slightly thinner um, 
metals over here i was kind of following along the same direction i did with the raccoons and the skunks and i just wanted this to look slightly different the trouble is you know with these backlot areas you can you can run into the trouble where every room ends up looking the same but you want to give every room its own bit of character and so that's why i decided to kind of change this up um so yeah it's looking pretty good i'm really really enjoying it i'm absolutely loving the you know Af um the um adventure africa rebrand as well because i feel like the area is really starting to get um it's it's st really starting to get its own feel it's like it's starting to look like a very special part of tropical wings and very different to the rest of the zoo and that's exactly what we wanted to achieve you know when we when we started out with the adventure africa kind of area in the first place uh, as you can see all the roofs and stuff are kind of going through a bit of a rework and then as far as these areas are concerned the reason i've left them till last is because they have so much a, a work in progress this is going to be the aardvarks um kind of colder months uh, area as you can see it's not the biggest but it's not the smallest either i'm probably with this one i'm probably just going to go with some nice kind of rocky design uh, all over kind of the back of the hab i'm going to try and make like a little den area underneath a bit of the rock so they would have somewhere that they could go and sleep because aardvarks at the end of the day aardvarks sleep the most of the day anyway they're very much a nocturnal animal um and then um you know just do that and then just a few little items and stuff in here i'm not going to go overboard it was just you know something for the for the colder months i was looking at london zoo's one and it's it's pretty much like a wooden shed and they've just thrown some um so, some dirts down on the ground and the aardvarks because all they tend to do is pretty much sleep anyway there just isn't a lot going on and uh, a lot of the zoos kind of follow that 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 kind of way of thinking so i'm probably going to do that too as you can see there's the door that kind of goes in we do actually have this um this lean to this is going to be covered um the reason these ain't been done is because i, I just cannot finalize a design that i want to use um i was going to go with kind of this uh thatch roof which is more the kind of um um asian design i believe or the south american design um but uh when i was then looking at other pieces um, this roof, if I choose to keep it, would have to be completely changed, and it could, I couldn't achieve this angle. So yeah, there was there was lots of uh, I'm in an R in, so I'm still really undecided. But uh, as far as the roof is concerned, I'm going to have to come up with something, and I don't want it to be much higher than this either. And then if we were to come over to the meerkat side, again, it's very much the same. I've kind of covered this over flat because I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to cover this like that over there as well and then come up with a roof design afterwards. Um, as you can see, they've got a doorway from the outside into here just because of we'd put the sink there so we didn't really have any room so the access to this building is actually on the outside uh even guest facing which um isn't actually that uncommon uh but yeah it's kind of uh, guest facing as well and then if we dive in here this is the last bit i was working on before i really had to call it quits and uh and and make today's video but as you can see this is kind of the look that i'm going for um th these are something that lider uh made when he did his fennet fox um hab uh habitats and i noticed that he had that on the workshop so i've downloaded it and i decided to um use these because i just think these are a brilliant design and rather than again making them yourself uh if someone's already done something and it looks pretty you know ace and it looks bang on you might as well use theirs so i decided to kind of steal them and i thought these would be kind of cool little like little things that the meerkats could go in and have a little sleep and then as you can see i'm kind of using the faux rocks i'm trying to build up this brick wall by the way i'm not sure if this is staying i literally put this in to make sure that the meerkats could get down from the indoor area um and then i had a guideline to follow with the faux rock should that be the direction i go in all honesty i'm not sure how this is going to actually work with the faux rocks as i go along because this is so tight under here that uh i'm not sure how we're going to get around that but um, it's it's all stuff that we, we we can tackle when we when we get there. But as you can see, it is coming along quite nicely. Really loving the way the throw rocks are kind of blending in with these uh, with these little cubby holes as well. I'm trying to use some like twigs and I'm trying to use some woods, uh, you know, in and amongst it as well, just to kind of give it a bit more detail rather than it just feeling like all these kind of rocks and whatnot. Um, again. A bit like the aardvarks, we're probably going to use all of this and build it all up 
um, around the edge and I'll probably come around here as well um, you know around this uh, edge towards the back but all of the front I'm going to leave really open so that they've got a lot of room basically they can kind of run around in essentially and I think that's the best way to kind of go about it and then we'll obviously get the roof on and it'll be finished but the, the, like you can see you can you can kind of see the direction I'm going in a bit more over here some a bit of a bugaboo because um, the way I've done the floor because I do want to use the sand is we are getting the holes in here which just one of those things but um, you know it's you, you can't avoid it you can't avoid it so uh that's just the nature of the beast with both the prairie dogs and the meerkats but yeah you can kind of see the direction i'm going in in here and uh i'm really hoping that it's gonna it will t i'm hoping it'll turn out nice because at the minute it does look a little bit of a mess because it's not complete but you can kind of see the direction that i'm i'm sort of going in and uh yeah the view the viewing windows look great as well they really do look great um all the little details I'm I'm throwing in here, um, it's all really really getting there, gang. And I think it will look. I do think it will look smashing once it's done, um, especially once you get a few meerkats in here, like mooching about and messing around. You've got the stalactite wall here as well, and uh, yeah, that's my work so far, gang. Like I say, there really isn't much to do. I just got to finish those rooms, few little details, and meerkat manor is finished. And so, where do we head next, gang? Um, very much next episode will be the really just showing quickly the finished part of meerkat manor and i know i keep calling it meerkat manor and the aardvarks are in there as well and so i should really include them but it, that's always been the name that has always been the name for that area um so yeah we'll get that finished like i say I, if i can get myself a couple of hours i'll probably get it done to be honest if you it's just the intricacies of that rock work and the inside of the buildings and then the bloody roofs and getting all that right that's that's kind of what was holding me back to be honest with you um so yeah that will be done so i'll be able to showcase that a little bit and then i'm not i'm not i'm, I'm not doing this i'm going to talk about this in a minute but i'm not i'm not going to be doing this for next episode what i am going to be doing is the gemsbok um because i actually think the gemsbok i could smash that really really quickly i uh, essentially what i want to do with those guys is i want to rip out all the plant in i want to change those rocks i want to change from that um sandy rock because i just don't think it's that realistic um to be honest with you in in um in a uk base zoo all the uk's base zoos i've looked at it's it's more like a tiger or a temperate type rock something a bit more natural or it will go with that fake kind of wall and stuff like that they build up so i'm going to change all that out and then wherever you see um you know kind of like the fake walls that i used to do i'm probably going to use stalactite rock instead so i'm probably going to actually build this out a bit more and then all of this wood i'm going to still keep the wood but I'm going to use different stuff. I'm going to probably use this wood over here because it's just better. It just it's more natural looking. It's a bit bit prettier, you know. And then um, little areas like this, you know, we're going to really redo all that, tidy it all up. Same here, you know. Um, I might even come out up here the same way I have done with the um, warthogs because I think it might look a bit prettier doing it like that. Um, and then again rip out all the grasses redo all of that um, well, I don't actually think we need to redo this this is I was looking at this and this is actually not that bad I really like this um, this fence here as well um, I think maybe what we could do is get rid of this uh, or not sorry not get rid of it maybe put a planter in here and just add some green uh, greenery up the top there but we do need to put a secondary little fence probably there <clears throat> in front of that and then, uh, yeah, and then it will just be a case of tidying this building up, basically. Uh, I'm going to probably change the design up a little bit, but uh, definitely inside, we're going to rip all this out and redo it. Uh, the gate is going to move from there to there, and it's going to go straight out onto Hab, because that will make more sense. Um, this is the thing you just learn so much, gang. You learn how buildings work and things as well. So, yeah, it's going to go straight out onto the hab instead. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll probably be able to rip that wall down um, to some degree, redo it, um, and then we'll be able to put in uh, stables, basically. We've only got two stables at the moment. I actually think we probably need a, a more than that. I would actually say this area here could probably become maybe three small stables and then what we could then have is just two large stables so the animals can be separated a bit more because we do have quite a big herd of gemsbok and uh, i think it's all a bit tight and whatnot so uh yeah that will definitely need 
uh, sorting out basically but that's the plan that's the plan for next episode is to basically rejig that because I don't I generally don't think it will take too long and as I do that I'll be moving this along and finishing pathways off and fences and plants because I do need to do planting here planting here planting here um, and then yeah after that we'll we'll probably press on with the next thing um, just to kind of um, uh, just uh, get, get, talk about this a little bit every episode obviously i'm saying i don't know what i'm going to do i don't know what animal i'm going to put in here um the more and more i think about it the, the hippos probably aren't going to go here so a couple of people have basically said where they think the best location for the hippos are and it's probably between the bongos and the akapi and i actually think they're correct because it probably fits in a bit better with those animals and then secondly um, I think it might have been New Age, who is a regular viewer of the channel. I think they made, I think it was uh, th them. They said about them potentially putting the penguins here. And when I was thinking about it and the way they described it, I actually think it might be a good idea. Essentially, what they were saying was, as you walk into Adventure Africa, there's going to be three, there's going to be almost like three sections to Adventure Africa. You're going to have this first, you know, part where there's just going to be, you know, some animals that build you up to the restaurant and then you get to the uh, foxes. And then after the foxes, uh, sorry, the fennet foxes, you then get uh, pri uh, the uh, predators of Serengeti, which is uh, like a trowel, basically, that's going to show you all the big cats and the hyenas and whatnot. And then after that, you're going to go to um, Safari Sunshine, aren't you? Uh, Safari, oh, Safari Sunrise. Um, <clears throat> and that's essentially kind of like the bigger kind of open plains area. And then after that, you're finished. So there's almost three sections to it. And so they were saying that if you put the penguins down, that do they don't invade on one of your more themed areas. Um, you know, if you was to put them near the bats, they might end up feeling a bit out of place because of how close they are to those other areas. And they don't really fit in. Whereas if you put them at the beginning, they almost, it's like, yeah, they're an African species, but it's, it's like they're their own you know thing and there's quite a big area there as well that you could put a nice little seated area in you know for shows and stuff and you could even be really clever about this in the way that you build up your fences to kind of fence it all off so that it does just kind of feel like its own area so i really really love that suggestion what i'd love to know is how you feel about that suggestion could this be the uh, the dream home for our african penguins basically right at the beginning of adventure africa um i just feel like as well because of the way the pathways are and everything you know high traffic area i think it might work quite nicely but you know I will obviously listen to what you guys say in the comments and uh, we will go from there. And so there you have it, my friends. We're done and dusted for this episode of Tropical Wings. It was actually a lot longer winded than it needed to be considering it was a work in progress. But do let me know, my friends, what you've made of today's episode and the Meerkat Manor build. Uh, it still needs a bit of finishing. Should be done for next episode. I'm now going to go away and press on more with Adventure Africa and uh, bringing this area up to Tropical Wings standard. But uh, until then my friends there will be plenty more content hopefully coming to the channel soon uh, we've probably got one more week of the office build and then once that's done we will be very much back to normal but until next episode my friends if you're new around here please consider subscribing drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it but until next time stay safe stay humble see us all on the next one